in those societies they they had to earn their way in just not anybody could get into society in particular the black mouth they watched you the older societies watched they seen what kind of person you were they seen how you acted within the village and if you're immature you would come with your goods and everything and they would just flat all right deny you until you became sort of skilled at hunting warfare mainly and if you ever got out of line with the black mouth they take you there was a time when a person got out of line and they took him in front of the entire village and stripped him they stripped him of all his clothes and all his weapons because he jumped a gun in a buffalo hunt where they could, they could have got 50 to 60 buffalo they only ended up with 20 or 30 and they put the entire tribe in a kind of a dilemma so they took this person out in the middle of the plaza they call it that's the term of it in the white man language but it's a sacred ceremonial area and they they whipped him they didn't really whip the heck out of him but they whipped him a couple times and the older ones came out and they scolded him and then when they were done with that they took him back out to the center and gave him horses gave him all his clothes back built him a lodge gave him food even gave him a wife or another wife and he he was felt shamed but these had dire consequences when he didn't avoid obey the rules of the black mouth society but above them was the old bull society and the crazy dogs and the dog soldiers they call them the real dogs when they were done with this society here they would step up and they would pay their way in to the dog society but the black mouth they go by another name their name was called the wood root the wood root people society or the black mouth the black mouth is how they're painted the woodwork was the club when they went into the forest and the trees they pulled them trees up and they had all them sharp edges on and they would cut them off and they would fix them and shape them quill them up as war clubs that's what they carried around and when they went to war they did not retreat Back in the day, the, the, the black mouth was, were held down by the Rikaras, Hidatsas, in Mandans after 1845 at like a fish hook. And the last time that they were held together, the original ones, peoples like Bobtail Bull, Whoopies, Hairy Coat, Crow's Breast, Poor Wolf, Those are some of the leaders. And they would uh, held their last Sundance ceremonial where the Black Mouth were invited in 1889. But at that time, the missionaries and the government were under scrutiny for tribes holding ceremonies because of the Christian movement into the into the Indian nations. So they went underground and they performed their ceremonies at night. So today, you go around, you go to a ceremony, whether it be UEP, Native American Church, different ones. In each village, with the Mandan, seven villages, the Black Cat villages, the Nuktari, the Tomisic, all these different Mandan tribes 
They would have their own black mouth societies in every village. Not one black mouth society would go off and tell another village what to do. They took care of it themselves. That's kind of how the history is and how the, uh, the, the ways of the black mouth were. There was about 12 groups of societies and I'm going to name them. The first one from the pre above below 12 years old, 9 years old. When you were 9 years old back then you were like 21, 22 as you are now. You already, they put you on a hill and they made you fast. You had to do little war games. What's a stone hammer society? You might want to write these down. The second was the notch stick society. And then there was the little dog society. And the crazy dog society. And these are in sequence, these are in order. And the lump wood society. The crow imitator society. The kit box society. And then they went up to the half shaved heads. Now you're getting into the mature warlike tribes, warlike people, the half shaved heads. Then there was the black mouth society. And then the real dogs, they call them. The reason they called the real dogs is that at times, no matter what time of year it was, they would take their shoes off, their moccasins, and they would walk around, even in the winter time sometimes to show that they were the real dog society. And there's a story how those came about. And then there's the old dog society. These were consisted of 45 years up to maybe 55 years of age. And then you went to the, the Buffalo Bull Society, the old timers, the ones that carried all the medicine bundles for the tribe, the ones that did those things. And these people, gentlemen here, representing that black mouth side would carry out the policies and the procedures for the bull and the dog soldiers. When something went down in the village, they head out to all the villages and tell the people what's going on. No email. They had to ride horses and go and do that stuff. So those were the types of things that, uh, that the black mouth society did. So at this time I want to